Well, welcome to my, hi Freddie, welcome to my bulletproof coffee spread here. Um, Freddie seems to have a curiosity. It's not like he's ever had one, but maybe he's heard me talk about it so much. So this is various ways that I assemble, whoops, my bulletproof coffee. And um, I've added the measuring spoons. Um, I put one tablespoon of Xyla into my Nutribullet. I put, actually, yeah. And I put one tablespoon of Bulletproof Brain Octane, heavy whipping cream, Kerrygold butter, or... Um, extra virgin, unrefined coconut oil, organic from BJ's, and also um, silk milk to bring it up to the level of where it says maximum on it. And I whip it all up. Um, you know, first I do the drip coffee. That's This is bulletproof French kick coffee. I buy organic mostly. And um, then it comes out, as you can see, there's the froth. It's settled a little bit as I set the stage to do this. But this is how I do it. And so it has a tablespoon, my first one has a tablespoon of brain octane, a tablespoon of butter, a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon of xyla, and um, silk milk to the unsweetened. Um, this happens to be cashew filled up to the line and then whipped. My second bulletproof coffee, which comes uh, later in the day before my first meal, will contain one tablespoon of Kerrygold butter, one tablespoon of the coconut oil. Um, I only have brain octane in my first one. So this has been Sarah and with my um, producer, Freddie. Freddie, say hi Freddie. He's my orange cat. And he's a sweetie. And so this is it. I hope you've enjoyed my little display of bulletproof coffee. Nectar of at least my gods. Thanks for watching. This has been Sarah. Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto Under 20. Bye-bye for now.